Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Sonofka 19. Folks, we got a load of corn and it's also a contract uh, cor corn. Um, er, let me show you here. <laughs> How y'all doing by the way? I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Look at that corn at the bakery is $493 every thousand liters. And uh, we got 41,752, 41, almost 42,000 liters of corn. So, here we go. We're going to dump it uh, as soon as I figure out. Oh, nope, not that. Oh, there we go. All right, y'all watch the top right corner up there. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. every bit of this that we got. It's just a front hopper. But yeah, we're going to make some money here, hopefully. And I got an airplane that's flying. I wish I had my camera up. Yeah, that, that was that real-life airplane going over my house when I was spraying the fields for day spray. 5,751 harvest income. Woohoo, folks. That's a, that's a lot. I'm backing off of this because it don't like its trailer very much. All right, where to go next? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and park it right here. But folks, I hope y'all doing all right. I'm doing this peachy myself. We are going to be more mowing this strip here in this uh, second, and uh, we're going. We got a lot of contracts to finalize too. So we'll shift this truck off and let's see. I'll go over here in the shade so you can see my tablet better. And let me screw over. The animals are doing pretty good. Uh, look at this in here, the, the white chicken. Every five and a half hours we'll get a uh, chicken. And then, uh, you know, we got one hour to go there. We got 375 eggs off of them. Our cows, Bubba and Betsy, is... Uh, kind of low on TMR and they're 99% health so that's what we need oh I jumped out of the tablet too soon but here folks as you can see I have quite a bit of uh, contracts and they go from cultivating to harvesting to fertilizing to transporting so here we go I'm just going to finalize them and y'all can watch sugar beets we got cotton and two uh, let's see so we got sugar beet and cotton on, on the sewing we got two bailing they're not really that much so I'm not going to take them and the weeding jobs we don't have a weeder so that brings us up to eighty four thousand two hundred and seventy three dollars folks and oh wrong one I want to go in here well back over to here and we're going to repay probably hmm, we'll keep 4,000 there. We, we're down to 100,000 folks. That's all we got left that loan. Okay, and uh, the wind roller I had, I took back and got one that was a three point hitch. Let me show you here real quick. Uh, here. And we went all the way over to this one. And uh, it did not like the tractor at all. It was very front heavy. Till we get a bigger tractor, we're, we're just going to have to use this Oh, use this in here. Uh, it's pretty good. We used it in a couple of contract missions. And, uh, yeah. The reason why I hooked to the log trailer, you're probably wondering why. These three trees right here are also coming down, and we got some out behind the cows that are coming down. And let me uh, jump over through here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, man, it didn't fill it up for us. All right, there we go. Let's 
is filling up. All right, that didn't take long. Good. But as you can see, we got the mower, we got the wind roller, and we got the loader wagon. I just need one more tractor to do the wind roller. All right. And there's the mower. Uh, here's the tractor. Now, I bought the pallet, so TMR. Uh, which is eight hundred dollars a pallet, and I uh, started putting them in here, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it it started uh, loading the trailer. So good thing this thing dumps. All right, and our cows are well, about, well, about halfway on TR, so fifteen thousand liters. That's going to bring that health should bring it up quite a bit actually I don't know if we can get 100% or not but this is the tractor we need I don't want to run over or shovel oh just barely and I've been cleaning them let's see where can I park this tractor out of the way let's see almost jackknifed it uh, we're going to be taking these trees out too and um, we're going to be planting some there and might plant one or two there. Don't know. Ooh, or weeds. We're going to be uh, plowing our fields here in a little while, but we got some uh, grass work to do first, folks. So let me get back over there. All right, folks. Um, I'm going to have to mow this, then wind roll it because the wind rollers wider than this mower by quite a bit so um yeah what i'll probably do is just do a fast forward and uh, i'm gonna shut up and um let y'all enjoy the fast forward As you can see, I can't quite get all up around the building there and stuff. But this thing's working pretty good. Uh, I decided to go ahead and just throw it to the left and uh, keep throwing it inward. And maybe we can get it picked up pretty quicker. Quicker? Something like that. And as you can see, I, my, that bridge overpowers the tractor sound all the time. This here, I kind of been going slow to see if we can get any more. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It's kind of bumpy. So I'm just trying to screw over this a little bit more. But right in here, it done pretty good. So but I don't want to put it over on that hill either because I know I won't be able to get it then. And I think what I'll do is throw that down the hill into the road here. Mm, probably start about right here. See how this would do. And then I'll take the udden and throw it the other way. Yeah, it's going to leave some down there. That's getting quite a bit most of it, so. Oh, that's going to be really tricky. Yeah, I just might have to make a couple rounds with the blotter wagon, but other than that, I think it might get all up pretty good. 
be better than nothing. All right, I'll bring you back here in a minute, folks, when I get the loader wagon going. Oh, that bridge. We'll try it this way and see what we get. Whoa, whoa. A little sliding, sliding a little bit there. Steep hill. We're going to get this hill knocked down. I don't know what episode that will be, but we're we're going to level this out as much as we can and get that rock there out too. And then uh, this won't be so bad mowing. Even if we can just smooth it just a little bit. All right, folks, I'll be right back with the loader wagon. All right, I'm bringing y'all back here. I made it around, well, not around, but through around the shed there, and I was able to pick that up pretty good. So, um, yeah. Uh-oh, I missed something there. I'm going to go on this outer side, see if I can pick this up. Oh, yeah. Getting most of it, anyway. So, um, I probably was behind on comments there for a minute, folks, but I am sorry about that. I had, uh, three calls. We had, uh, one fire call for Luxor. I had a crane on fire. And then, uh, we had a semi-truck on fire for, uh, let's see, the, the crane was for Luxor and Burdette fire department had one for a semi truck on fire to assist Osceola fire so we went out to that and um, <laughs> it got soaking and wet because it was a storm coming up and it got there about the time I did and I'm like oh great and uh, yeah uh, but anyway we got that out I, I didn't have to do that and Osceola had their truck already all I had to do was get the uh supply them with water in other words so when I got there I started filling their truck up they had like a quarter of a tank of, of water left when I got there so worked out about right put a thousand gallons onto their truck and we uh, said well they said they're going to spray a little bit more foam on it and then they was going to get out of there and they said as soon as I get the last bit of water off me that I could go ahead and wrap up and, and go and they wasn't going to go do no more on it because you know it started pouring down raining by then and so we was like no well, I was like uh, you know pack it up rode the hoses got them back on the truck went to take off and it quit raining I, I was like just furious mad you know which it ain't nothing to working in the rain and stuff. It don't matter. Is this really like you're just going to do that? Pop up when I get there and then and uh, disappear when I leave. Ooh, that's a lot of grass right there. Get this right here. And of course, you know, I got this set to. Let me go around these rocks for quiet quite fast because this is going to be the first thing we work on is getting these rocks out of here I get some kind of excavator bulldozer or something and uh, get these guys taken care of but anyway after that I got back home you know we got, got the fire truck filled up with water got back to the house <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take me a, I told the kids, like, I'm going to take a shire. I was like, why, Dad, you're already wet. I said, I know. All I have to do is uh, a little bit of soap and then rinse off. So I didn't even get in the tub. I mean, I just got in the bathroom and, uh, you know, took off my clothes so I can get in the tub. And uh, I heard the phone go, deep, 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 deep. I'm like, oh, no. Uh, I told my son he was passing by and got another call, Dad. And I'm like, check to see what it said. And it said, the semi that you already done is back on fire again. 
and it's been about you know 30 40 minutes me being home not counting the time we was at the fire station so probably about 45 minutes to hour uh, they got back out there the tow truck guy said we jacked it up to get to the brakes and all of a sudden it started smoking and it went up in flames for a second and then some guy was passing through with about 30 gallons of water on his truck stopped and put it out for us and, and then after that you know when I got there I'm like where I don't even see no smoke and he told me that story I just told y'all and he's like oh and I'm like oh yeah yeah well thank goodness so what we done just to make sure it would stay out he went ahead and um, oh they went ahead and hooked up to the truck and we just stayed behind them and uh, to make sure you know it wasn't going to catch on fire again until where they going anyway and uh, you know uh, we're about I don't know, it's 11 miles from Luxor to Blobble. So we was probably about six or five or six miles from Blobble where we was at with the fire. And uh, so we followed them all the way to Blobble, then went past there all the way up to 71 mile marker and uh, I think it was in, no, it was still in Arkansas. It was north of Blobble, but it was like one mile from being a state line. And uh, I mean, my sidekick was, uh, you know, just taking the fire truck just in case it caught on fire again. And we made it back and no other calls, knock on wood, since then. So that's a, a pretty good size blessing. And, but uh, yeah, that was my day. Uh, what was it Friday and I'm recording this the next day which is Saturday and hang on a second I'll get you a date Saturday May the 8th and somewhere right in here folks as you can see I, yeah I don't have access to this land while I'm running equipment so I was just wondering why the mower was doing that but what I'm gonna do as I pick this up from here to there then I'll probably get the wind roller back out and wind roll this a little bit more neater try to get every single drop that I see up because we're going to need it and uh, I will meet y'all over at the uh, uh, the cows area and we'll put this in the, the silo thing there all right, so I'll see you in a second. Well, folks, I brought you back this a little bit sooner. Um, our last through, and our trailer's about almost half. Yeah, trying to. Oh, I, I missed some. I gotta come back a little bit too wide, especially right here. But that's okay. That is okay, cause whoa, 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 whoa! Don't turn over, Mr. Blue, Tommy. I swear, you scared the heck out of me. Oh wait, why am I talking to myself? I'm talking to y'all, folks, not me. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap up this side. We just gotta level it and get it ready for next time with Mo. Lift my thing up. There's a swapper. There's a mower. There's a plow. Um, not going to worry about this, but we are going to come through here, mowing through that scap there, and try to get some of that down through there. And folks, when I bring you back in the next episode, we are going to be planting trees. Yes, we're going to be planting trees. We're going to be cutting down some trees and planting trees. We're going to have to plant our crops too. All right, how I want to do this, I'm um, over here taking my speed down to about two. Oh, probably about one. And I want to 
make sure I'm straight and if I had GPS on this I would use GPS uh, just make sure I had a straight line and uh, I want to hit three and that's going to give me about one mile an hour like I'm going so if I had GPS I wouldn't have to worry about watching the wall but I got to watch that wall so um, that help if I hit the right button actually going to slow us down to about zero maybe maybe one yeah it looks like one be about right and what you want to do is just keep a straight line and what you can do if you have more grass you can come back through do the same thing and you'll have almost an even way through here you know what I mean you, you can just look how even that is right here is a couple lumps but that's where I changed my speed but right here it's nothing but an even path all the way through oh boy that was a lot 40,000 left in here and we already got well, 100,000 in the pit so far wow but you do want to stop it before you get too far or too close to the end I might even just slow down a little bit there we go we are out and we have a hundred and thirty four thousand five 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 and and chaff folks and, and we're not done I'm not done mowing um, but we got to get one plowing so I think what I'm going to do is park this guy right here and I'm going to go ahead and end the episode but with this guy I'm going to get the pot do we need a plow? Let's, let's look at our ground real quick um, while we are on the ground um, where is the ground? oh ground's up here uh, as you can see uh, that and this is and this is grass is the field that I used and it's a little bit I got um, and go in here this is ready to harvest so we're going to mow this and this I don't know about that. We'll probably just leave it alone. Uh, but our fields just been harvested. Ain't been nothing done to them. Um, as you can see, we got weeds in them. So I think what we're going to do. If I take the weeds off, they do not need plowing. So I'm just going to run a cultivator over them. Where's our cultivator? It's right back here. Uh, cultivator over them and plant them and just like that field back there and we'll go over here real quick and see what this looks like as you can see the fruit type is grass is growing uh, pH volume is okay there some spots are bad nitrogen is bad so we're going to have to fertilize it and uh, yeah good we did lime it well, folks, that's going to be it. Uh, next episode, we're going to be cultivating and uh, fertilizing and cutting trees and probably mowing some more if we can do all that in that episode. It's lots to do on the farm. Lots to do. But this tractor is going to be the next one to go. So, yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and get him going and... Uh, I'll see y'all in the next episode, okay? Don't forget to uh, Oh I turned my speed back up There we go Don't forget to check out the links down below, folks uh, My light My can crusher And all the awesome YouTubers that's down in that description box and then the ones in the comments folks if you're new be sure and check them out after you watch my video or check them out then watch my video I don't care how you do it uh, if you're new 
hit that red button helps a lot leave a like share me with your friends if you think I'm worthy enough and folks I gotta get out of here I've been having some long episodes so I'm gonna try to get them back down to under 30 but anyway I love y'all y'all are awesome y'all put a smile on my face when I see those comments so y'all have a great day a blessed day and I'll see y'all later bye